We move on to that tragedy in the headlines. Violence by an NFL football player who killed his girlfriend and then himself. Tonight, we are hearing from family members, and a famous sportscaster has prompted a debate about gun control. ABC's John Triffin. Relatives of Kansas City Chiefs linebacker Javon Belcher speaking out today, trying to make sense of this tragedy. We are overwhelmed with both sadness and confusion. Belcher shot and killed his girlfriend, Cassandra Perkins, Saturday. Tonight, her family releasing this statement saying, quote, Please keep us in your hearts and prayers, as well as the Belcher family, for two lives were lost. And here inside the Chiefs practice facility, you can see Belcher's locker is still filled with all of his gear. The team says they don't know when or if his locker will be cleared out this season. The incident reignited the gun control debate. Sportscaster Bob Costas taking a stand on Sunday Night Football. If Javon Belcher didn't possess a gun, he and Cassandra Perkins would both be alive today. Today, Chiefs head coach Romeo Cornell, who witnessed Belcher's suicide, added his voice. All I know is, is a player with a gun, and I know that's not a good thing. But what drove Belcher to kill? Was it a head injury so common in football? Or was this another tragic instance of domestic violence, which kills two to three women in this country every single day? John Schriffen, ABC News, Kansas City.